over the many years that I've had this channel, I have spent <laughs> so much money on equipment and props I just never used <laughs> or with too much effort. So when I started the channel, I wanted to, you know, I, I just record, like the first videos I filmed were on a Blackberry 9900. You know, which wasn't even an HD. And I think that was unboxing a BlackBerry 97... 50? 80? Anyway. That video's lost the time. But I currently have a lot of stuff for the channel. And you've probably seen a fair amount of it come from that box I got from... Stop. From Harry Hands Air Smart. And I thought it would be a fun thing to show you what I have accumulated because of mainly because of the channel. And then show you what I actually use. But I just realised I can only really do that if I'm filming using another device which I don't own. So um, maybe I'll find a mirror. Okay, let's get started. To give you some context... <coughs> That's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Okay. Some of this you've seen before. Some of it you haven't. I'll be recounting some stories as I go through. And general chit chat. So let's start with this one. This is a 3DO case. A lot of this stuff I've kept in cases that I got from um Hairy hands. So in here, I have my external stuff. So one gigabyte drive, four gigabyte drive, two gigabyte drive, terabytes. Sorry, terabytes. A multi adapter thingy, another USB-C multi adapter, a random 256GB SSD, and a CD external. Honestly, these aren't all for YouTube. I've got a lot of my videos backed up on one of them, a lot of the one is I recently started Selling the high seas again for content. Um, other is just personal stuff from over the years, like all my jack shit stuff. So, oh yeah, and a lot of that content. Which I never watch, but you know, just in case when the internet goes out. <laughs> so that's that. And out of all of this, I probably use regularly that one because it does say prawn but it doesn't have my prawn on it. And these used to be kept in a pink bag and the only reason they've been kept in this box is because the, the box is pretty cool. <laughs> to be honest I like the box so that's why this has been used. on a budget essentially if you have a half decent phone you're 80% the way there but one thing I recommend you never ever cheap out on is a decent tripod I've had oh, my cow was burning. I've had several over the years this one I've had for seven years and um, they can go pretty high and you know it depends on what usages are going to be and stuff but it gives you quite a lot of 
Lawrence is a Bell Bond. They're a decent brand. I've had quite a few over the years, but I've probably made a thousand videos over the years. Where they're lost in any yada yada yada. And um, you know, I've want the role plays are easy when you're standing up, so you want a tripod that can match your height, which for me is six foot one for many people. Might be a bit small. Sorry, five foot thirteen I've been saying recently. Because apparently the height's a big deal. And uh yeah, I kinda this was eighty quid. Which I know sounds a lot. And it is a lot. But if you're gonna be spending twenty five to thirty on some cheap piece of crap from Amazon, like Amazon's own stuff, I don't recommend it. No, I'm not uh, well versed up on tripods. I basically walked into the store, spoke to a bloke who was quite helpful, told him what my usage was, gave him a rough budget and he reckoned this. So, yeah. But available on. But this is, this is only one of many, many tripods I have. And the reason you never see this in videos is because it's either holding the camera or I'm not filming at home. I have one quite similar at work and uh, it was found in the rubbish of the camera store actually. And it works, but it only goes up to like five foot, <laughs> which is like really annoying. Like it's far too short for me, but because it still goes quite wide, it's it's far too big to be put on a table or something like that to up the height. It's just, it's useful to have at work so I don't have to carry this around with me, but it's bollock. <laughs> okay, what you're spending, do a bit of research is what I say. Okay, next up. You've seen this before? It's a little less organised than it was. My god, there's just cat hair everywhere. A little less organised than it was. Um, and this is all wires. Quite badly organised at the moment. I need to do another version of this, but I've got like USB C to C, C to A, C to micro, micro to C, micro to A, lightning to A, lightning to C. I've got a eight meter long mini USB to A <laughs> just and again you know what is this in relation to the uh, the channel well if I didn't have a YouTube channel I'd probably only have a couple of USB-C laying around that I charge stuff with <laughs> like you know so much of this as one of those I've used it once and at some point in a video or some equipment I get I might need it again so therefore we keep it side. It's even more. It's got a phone holder. Uh, actually, that'd be useful. Right? Some more kind of like little bits and pieces just to hold phones on. My Jerry Rig Everything unboxing knife, which I never have near me when I need to unbox something, so I might keep that to the side. And that's that. There's a messier side to this though. Especially since bringing in all that stuff from Harry. Mm -hmm. Oh, bloody hell, that's heavy. <clears throat> okay. This disc contains random PC bits and pieces as well. So, cut up the mice, cables, chargers, that kind of thing. But, Sound. I'm massaging a robot's brain. <laughs> uh, I'm not even drunk in this one. It's just wall to wall. That. And uh, I really need to figure out. Now, this relates to the channel because. Why did I just get a white chocolate? Small. Uh, a lot of the PCs and 
keyboards and bits and pieces I've had over the years have been in relation to the channel, whether it was a setup or actually using it or something. And uh, I no longer have that. And as a man, if I find a charger for something, but I can't find where the charger is, I have to keep it because I know Sod's Law when <laughs> when I find the item at some point in the future, I won't have the charger for it, and it'll probably be harder to get a charger for it than the item was for. So. This is a middle-aged man saying this, but you've seen my junk drawer, so you know what I'm saying. Actually, I think some of the wires from the junk drawer went into this. Uh, you can also see behind that ultra-wide monitor, the PC, the desk and stuff. I've got a £400 share upstairs from Secret Labs. It was all to do for the channel. I wouldn't have it if I wouldn't have the channel. I'd probably have something comfortable to play Xbox in, but I've never been a PC gamer. And having the whole aesthetic of the big monitor and stuff like that on a live stream was important for a while. So there's that. Some of these are mine, but a lot of them came from hairy hands. Oh yeah, got those as well to show you in a second. These are my most used. Phone holder. Phone holder. Phone holder. Phone holder. One photo. I don't know if that's broken or if it's just. Is <laughs> there could be a lot too? Does that switch that way? No, I don't know. Just <laughs> tripods. One photo tripod. One for a to tripod. Bit of a weird one. Uh, not sure. One for a to tripod. These aren't even my ones. <laughs> These came from. Uh, I think that's a thing, and yeah. Put it on there, and then you can move it around. And then. I'm not sure what these are. They're kind of pods to put onto tripods again. But, and I put it in here because I had the bag. Monfrotto are actually really good. These kind of smaller tripods are really good for like filming how I'm doing. Um, my camera has a built-in kickstand. So I should do a video on this camera because it's really, really good. And the feedback's quite nice. Um, yeah. Oh, and that's another one to clip on to something. And then, um, yes. I also have a big ring light up there that's hidden under a load of stuff that I cannot be asked to go and get, which I never use as well. Because I did have. I can never be asked of lighting. I understand the importance of lighting and stuff. Like, the lighting I've got going at the moment is I've got a shit lamp. A really shit new light bulb up there, which I need to replace, but I can't reach it even with a ladder because our house is so high. And my lightsaber. But two TVs. <laughs> That's providing this entire landscape. And I like how it looks, but, you know, if you get into it seriously in the wrong place and you've got to have, like, you know, you need to have your your audio equipment and your lighting and your camera and then you just end up with like poles and stuff everything and nah, fuck that shit. Uh, if you're from the UK and you want one of these for free, pop me an email which can be found in the description on my channel and I will send you one for free. 
the reason I say UK is because I'm not posting abroad prices for a good deed. <laughs> no, I think this one's broken, so I'm gonna have to look into that, but it's definitely the more advanced one. Next up is audio equipment. Which reminds me. Some bits and pieces in here, which I really do need to check out. Or chuck out, because I'm not quite sure what they're about. So I can kind of also put. Huh. That, that. So, microphone wise, you've all seen this bad boy? Yet blue, the pink Blue Yeti, like original one. Now, if you're looking to get the Blue Yeti, buy them second hand, okay? Brand new, they go anywhere between 120, 180. You can get this from CEX for 45 quid. And if you get it from like a refutable stuff, refutable place, they've got like a two year guarantee on it as well if it stops working. That's all I say. I paid 110 for this, complete rip off. For God's sake, it came out two, three years ago. It still uses micro USB, micro USB from 2004. No, it's not micro. It's mini USB, which is even older. But anyway, people love this. It can be used quite easily. I've got, it. if I can be asked, I use it very rarely, but it's handy to have and it just plugs into a phone and snap. I've also got this Audio Technica one, which. I've never used. It's meant to have a base, it's USB C powered. And these all seem to be random mic um lav mics. So this one is one that is you know just kind of pins on there. And that seems to be a USB one. Okay. The equipment I bought the intention of using it is there was there but practicality man I'm one of those if I come up with a film idea and I don't film it there and then it goes onto the ideas list chances that'll never be done as if you've seen or will potentially see my props box that I've filmed about an hour ago um, you'll understand but um what's this one this one is complicated this is a load of different labs And equipment and bits, and this is a more traditional one. And again, like these are fantastic. You know, you just drop them in and stuff. But most phones don't have headphones. Well, it's road. Most phones don't have headphones anymore. And a lot of literal paying like kind of upper range cameras don't have audio in. But this does, which I could experiment with. But I don't know how it works very well in this. I think this is like for a dual setup. It looks like you can do like an ear to ear with this one quite easily. I say easily. We know what one. But again, handy to have just in case. Because it doesn't take up a lot of room. And uh, like a lot of my props, I'll show you. And some of the stuff, I keep it because I probably might use it. Uh, another lav. This one's a USB C one. Keep that aside actually, that sounds like it'll be a bit easier to use. USB C straight to a phone. I've got another one, which is Sennheiser. And oh, that's <laughs> that's um okay, digital Sennheiser. That's for iPhones. <laughs> so I've got like iPhone iPad. <laughs> It's just, this is it, like audio equipment gets so expensive, so confusing, just, 
a phone microphone is great. Oh, what I'm using here. Uh, camera, what's that one? That looks like, oh, I think that's in here headphones. So you wear them and you get a kind of a, I don't know. No idea on that one. What an awesome little box. That's uh, another lav microphone. I think that one might be dual setup actually. <laughs> and I know this is the first time I've actually looked at this stuff properly. But I just thought it'd be quite funny to show my equipment and then what I actually use. This looks a bit more. I think this is the one. Have you a smart headset? So, oh, it's USB C. Oh, my camera's battery's going on this. I might have to go back in a minute. Get to the point, Luke. So it's USB C. Goes into both ears. This is, I think this is the kind of one where you wear it and it gives you sounds on both sides, like. Oh my god, there we go. So I think you wear it because it's quite heavy. And there are microphones on each side, so you get the ambient feeling. And it is USB C. Interesting. And then last off in here we have like this mini camera thing, which I've heard good things about. So there's a lot in here I could play around with. And a lot that I could give away. But yeah, okay. So now I'm going to show you what I use. This occasionally. I'm showing you my phone, not to show you, because I was meant to film this with my phone, but I got like a couple of minutes in before I realised I was silly. Not to show you the phone, because, but to show, no you dickhead, not crying. Camera. I use this. Can you see it? <laughs> there we go, you can kind of see it. That is the Canon PowerShot V10. It is awesome. It's recorded 90% of my videos that I've made since coming back. It gets put on this occasionally, which I can move that and that. And Occasionally, if I need a little bit of extra light, I do it now and then, but not often. I have another one of these with like a charge light. And the reason I don't use this often is because I forget to charge it. So this one can run through. It's got like a little thing for. So just using all that stuff I showed you. And this is what I use. And even then, this is used in 5%. These are used, well, this is used 5%. This is used 60%. And this thing here that you're watching me record on is used 95%. Often just on its own with whatever light I have going. And then I will, I've got computers, random computers, I've got a Chromebook, Chromebook, I've got a lot of computer stuff, but that's not so much for the channel, it's more because I'm interested in tech, which then just gets loaded into, plugged into whatever random computer I have going on at the time, I upload to YouTube, no editing, nothing. 